YouTube, what's going on, y'all boys? Man, here today, man. See, gets her back with another video for you guys for here today. Uh, it's been a minute since I have picked up a camera. It's been a minute since you've seen the car. It's been a while, you know. Uh, having this, I have some explaining to do. Um, you guys are probably wondering where the car has been at, why I haven't uploaded. I had gotten into a car accident, you know. I had crashed my car, and my car needed to be fixed, so I, you know, just didn't take. I didn't post anything at least car related on where my car has been um, or, you know, what and specifically had got, you know, messed up. I'm going to put a picture here on the screen right here for you guys so you guys can see. Um, but, oh, yeah, my car, I got, uh, got into a car crash. And I've been, I've been without the car for about two weeks. And exactly after tomorrow, it will be a solid month since the car has been crashed and then in the shop. It's been in the shop for about two weeks. About, yeah, two weeks. And I think I got it back the day before than expected, which was crazy. Um, very, you know, blessed and grateful to get the car back to being working standards. Thank God the airbags didn't deploy or anything like that. Nothing too crazy. But um, more or less, what had happened was um, if you guys have, if you guys are tuning to my Instagram, make sure you go find me down on IG. Um, you will see that you would have seen back then that I was out and about. I was most I was up the whole weekend to be honest. Really no sleep. Um, tired, you know, tired stuff. Working out and about. Family came into town. You know, what I'm saying we went to a uh, a graduation thing out in the city. We were there for like the whole weekend. Kicked it. Came back home. Worked. I worked, and I did a close. You know me, big closer. You know what I mean. I don't, I don't really do no opening shifts. I do want to get to those soon. But um, I was closing. Got done. I was heading home, right, and via where I stay, there is construction on roads, you know what I mean, there's roads closed down, you know, everywhere, you know, there's construction going on, fixing pipes, all that good stuff, and there was a road that was closed, I was going down on that road, and it didn't cross my mind that, oh, the road is closed, you know, you gotta go around, I uh, went up to the road, I like stopped, I'm like, oh, it's closed, can't go through it. It's literally blocked off. You know, they had some, like, uh, what do you call it, like, barriers, you can call them, or, like, little fake fences with, like, signs on them specifying, you know, road close ahead, whatever distance is that at third. So I'm like, all right, cool. I go around. I go into a neighborhood that I haven't been in before. I don't know why they don't have, you know, more lighting on the streets, but they didn't. I went into a neighborhood that I haven't been in before, and I ended up striking a mailbox post. Now, it wasn't like them regular mailbox posts where it's like wood and wasn't uh, yeah, it's like wood. That's like I guess the standard, you know, wood mailbox post, you know, the mail the mailbox, the top part where the mail sits in, uh sits on it. But it was one of them steel ones, like the metal ones, like real deal things. And, you know, some people that I do see they'll have the mailbox posts and they'll have like stones in, you know, on both sides, be it because they don't want no one to, you know, hit their mailbox post or potentially just kind of falls or whatever it may be. Uh, yeah, it had a metal one and I ended up striking it and I had striked it. Some people that were like driving by, they were going to work. They had seen me hit it and they, kick it and they called the police. This is what it is. You know, police were called and I striked it. And if you guys seen in the picture, um, the whole bumper was not the whole bumper, but more or less the corner. The headlight was destroyed. Half of it was working. I'm gonna hop. In, I'm gonna hop out and show you guys what I'm talking about. Half of the headlight was working. More or less, the DRLs, like the daytime running lights, the what is that? The high beam. There's like three of them. So it was daytime running light, the high beam, and the not even the turn signal. Whatever that third light is on my headlight, I don't. I don't know off the top of my head what that is. But those only three lights were working. But on my on my headlights, it goes three on top, three in the middle, three on the bottom. The top and the bottom were not turning on. Now, if you know Kia Forte GTs, the daytime running lights when you're driving before the actual middle light turns on, the outside six uh, lights those were all turning. Those those were all working on my left side, the right side that was not working. On my fog light, the housing was broken. So if you know with the GTs, the headlight and the fog light sits at an angle like this. It doesn't sit. It's not like a bulb where it's kind of like a uh, like on the, on the old GTs where it's like at the bottom they have like a little circle. On mine's it's a it's angled. 
that wasn't broken, but the housing to hold it at an angle was broken. So while I'm driving, the head, the fog lights like flopping around out at the bottom of the bumper. And um, there was like scrapes, is that a third? Uh, in that picture, it does look worse than what it really was. But when I hit it from the bottom of the, of the headlight, there was a line all the way down to the bottom of the bumper. It was cracked dead through. Like it was a split, like a, like a good split all the way through. So via the after that night, or not even that night, it happened in the morning like wee hours in the morning uh after i striked it i had to go to work the same following like day like later that day i had to go to work so i'm like all right cool i'm gonna go to work i ain't gonna lie i was running a couple minutes late so i got on the highway that's where more stuff had occurred silly me i shouldn't have gone on the highway but it is what it is you know i got on the highway i was going i wasn't speeding or that i was just driving i was on the, i was on the fourth lane like the slow lane i was driving in that and I heard, boom, boom, boom. I'm like, yo, what is that? I look up in my mirror. All I see is this stuff fly out. I'm like, oh, my God. Whatever. You know, it's a vehicle. It's materialistic. Obviously, things can be bought. Things can be replaced. Not what I wanted to happen. You know what I mean? So when I ended up at stops, when I made it to work, I took a picture for you guys. You'll see a whole chunk of the bumper is missing. Now. When I get out and show you, it's gonna you're gonna see the um, there's a vent that was missing, the wheel liner inside the wheel well was missing for my my passenger uh my front passenger wheel, the wheel liner was missing, <laughs> the the piece of the bumper. My, remember I told you it was split dead right, it was split, so left of it is not attached to anything. Really, it's attached to the wheel well, so it's already like weakened, you know. And uh, my parents before I made it before I left, they were they were able to kind of push it in kind of like try to clamp it back in so it can stay but if you do your homework you know uh anything that is split the wind will push it and away you know up and away so that's exactly what happened that flew off the wheel well flew off the bolts and whatever type of like fasteners whatever that was down there got, got blown off luckily it didn't mess with my suspension or anything like that when i did have crashed it didn't mess with my suspension you know saying real race car keep that video if you haven't already installation on the ibok lowering springs thank god nothing happened to them um, yeah, when I did crash, the, uh, the cop was like, oh, it's just suspension, you know, messed up or anything like that. Is the car drivable? And I'm like, I'm pretty sure. You know, I hope the car is still drivable because I didn't want to get the car towed. I'd rather just drag it back home and then drag it to the shop via whatever I have to do. Um, so yeah, they let me go. I didn't get a ticket or none of that, you know, uh, God's plan. Um, uh, didn't get no ticket or anything like that. I don't know if the homeowner, you know, filed anything. I don't know. I mean, I've driven past his house a couple times. Vehicle had to go through that way because there's still construction on another set of streets outside of that neighborhood. And once you get out of that neighborhood, there's more construction down there. I don't know why, but just construction everywhere. But you have to reroute traffic, go through that area. And it looks as if I never came there. It looks as if I was never there. There's no trace of me. So cool. But, you know, uh, I was talking with my mom and I'm like, what are we going to do, you know, fixing wise? How much would it you know, cost? I went to a couple shops. I went to um, I went to this shop called Adams Auto Body Shop Repair, a repair shop. If you know, I said, you know, where I said I went there. And when I first got it, you know, looked at and got a quote for it and everything like that it came out to be about 4K, about 4000 damages. Um, everything listed out, I had to get all that good stuff done. I had to get the, I had to get the door taken off for them to put the fender on, to put the wheel liner on, the door put back on, the headlights to get fixed. I think that was like, uh, um, they got me, a one of the, uh, it was either the fog light was used or the headlight was used. And then one of them was new. So it was a used and, you know, it was a one, one new, one used, whichever one it is. And then a new bumper, obviously to get repainted, did a pretty good job, you know, can't complain. I haven't found no other issues. And then also when the car was messed up, I did get into not another accident, but I curbed the dang dang curb in Starbucks. I was getting some, you know what I'm saying? Give me, give me good old Starbies, you know what I'm saying? And I ended up hitting the curb and I'm like, whatever, you know, it's a car. I'm not going to get worked up. I'm not going to be, oh my God, no, my car is destroyed. Ah, cause it's going to get fixed. So, um, I don't really, you know, dwell too much on that. I got it fixed. 
not that part. That part that I curved on, that's still there. I'm gonna show you right now. That that was still there. So I didn't really, you know, cry too much about it. Yeah, it was like, damn, you know, you guys seen when the video I picked up this car, what now seven months ago, and I got into an accident. But you know what I'm saying? It's not the craziest L. It's something that obviously we didn't want to happen. You know, it's not something we wanted to run into. But it's a minor step. It's a minor step back for a major comeback. You know, it's a lot more things planned for this car that is still in motion. Uh, the wheels to be done, the exhaust to be done, interior work, exterior work. It's a lot of things to be done to make this car the way I want. So you know, you guys definitely have to stay tuned. But I'm gonna hop out and show you guys what it looks like right now. It looks like it's brand new, man, and I can't complain. I'm very grateful that I can, you know, still have my vehicle and to get it back. You know, finally, honestly, get it back. It was nice to sit back in it. You know, sit amongst the stars on some cool stuff, man, and to really, you know, have something back that and I, I hold back as a prized possession, just of myself and my work ethic, my work ethic, and how far I've came. Like we don't do this, you know. This is not like the only thing that stands me. You know, it's not the only thing that kind of. Uh, represents who i am this is just the little toys just like the little add-ons you know what i mean so uh there's a little some some but you know what i'm saying that's what happened man that's uh where my car has been for the last two weeks while i haven't uploaded you know, I, I know you guys some of you guys have been asking in the comments on my on my recent video on my five things i love about the q 40 gt some of you guys have been asking uh you know you want to see what the springs look like uh settled you know i kind of put them on in that video and i didn't really i showed a little bit for sure at the end of the video but to really see how they're sitting now i'm gonna show you guys how the springs are sitting now the car looks amazing it's just great you know i can't complain the springs are definitely a great install if you guys haven't already make sure you guys install make sure you guys do some eyebox springs for your forte gt and uh you know what i'm saying get right but i'm gonna hop out for you guys and i'm gonna show y'all what the car looks like now oh it's hot out here i can't lie to you man but so, this is what the car looks like, looks like right now. It is definitely dirty, more or less via the pollen, all the bugs. But this is uh, more or less where, you know, the crash was, if you see in the picture. So, the headlight is brand new now. The fog light's are new. That vent is here. That bumper is here. The wheel well liner is there. And the whole front end looks brand new again, man. So, very much grateful to get that back to where i want it to be um yeah man it's kind of kind of things that just happen you know it's life life goes on can't stand and dwell too much about it and be like damn you know what am i gonna do now kind of keep on striding forward if things happen and you can't just sit and dwell on it too much and let it uh you know tear you apart but as of right now man the forte does look good it looks amazing can't complain looks great looking brand new you wouldn't even know off, off of a just bare look that i got into an accident so i'm very grateful that this car is back to being how i wanted and you know back to being brand new the shop did their job you know what i'm saying can't complain went the insurance route so i only only paid the deductible and yep saved myself time in the hassle man so everything is back to being brand new looking brand new again looking good looking all pretty and spiffy you know what i'm saying so yeah, that's where my car has been for the last two weeks. The reason why I haven't uploaded any videos regarding the car. And also, you guys want to see the springs. I know you guys wanted to see it. This is how it's sitting right now. It's sitting pretty good, man. So, yeah, can't complain, man. But that's where the car has been. But, uh, yeah, man, I'm going to get, get up out of here. Quit talking to you guys' heads off. But if you guys haven't already, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. And, uh, yeah. I'll catch you guys in the next videos. Be sure to tune to old videos and uh, see you on the next one. Peace out.